David Gilmour is the debut solo studio album by Pink Floyd guitarist and co-lead vocalist David Gilmour. The album was released in May and June 1978 in the United Kingdom and the United States, respectively. The album reached number 17 in the UK and number 29 on the Billboard US album charts, it was certified gold in the US by the RIA. The album was produced by Gilmour and consists mostly of blues and guitar-oriented rock songs, except for the piano-dominated ballad So Far Away. The tracks used for the album were recorded between February and March 1978 with engineer John Etchells at Super Bear Studios in France. They were then mixed at the same studio by Nick Griffiths. Session musicians included bass guitarist Rick Wills and drummer Willie Wilson, both of whom used to be part of Joker's Wild with Gilmore. The album cover used for the first Emmy pressings of the album LP was done by Hypnosis and Gilmore and includes Gilmore, Rick Wills and Willie Wilson in the cover photo. Gilmore was credited on the cover for contributing keyboards, vocals although he played guitar. The CBS slash Columbia pressings listed Gilmore as contributing guitars, keyboards, vocals. Among those depicted on the inner sleeve is Gilmore's then-wife, Ginger. The album's only single was There's No Way Out of Here. The single flopped in Europe, but it became popular on album-oriented rock radio stations in the US. The song was originally recorded by the band Unicorn for their 1976 album Too Many Crooks, which Gilmore produced. It was also recorded later by New Jersey stoner rock band Monster Magnet on their Monolithic Baby album, and by Iron and Wine on his 2015 covers album Sing Into My Mouth. One unused tune that was written and demoed at the time would later evolve, via collaboration with Roger Waters, into Pink Floyd's Comfortably Numb from the Wall. However, a song included on this album, the piano ballad So Far Away, uses a chorus progression not unlike the chorus to Comfortably Numb, albeit in a different key. Likewise, the song Short and Sweet can be seen as a musical precursor to Run Like Hell, with it shifting chords over a D pedal point, using a flanged guitar and drop D tuning. Short and Sweet was written in collaboration with Roy Harper, who recorded his own version for his 1980 album The Unknown Soldier. A five-song promotional film was made to promote the album. The band comprised Gilmore himself on guitars and vocals plus the two musicians on the album plus David Gilmore's brother Mark on rhythm guitar and Ian McLagan on keyboards and performed Mihalis. There's no way out of here, so far away, no way and I can't breathe anymore. There were three female backing singers on There's No Way Out of Here and So Far Away, Debbie Doss, Shirley Roden, and Carlena Williams. The promo was recorded live at the Roxy, London. Also, Gilmore promoted the album with his first ever interviews with North American media and FM rock radio stations. The promotion paid off as the album made a respectable showing on the Billboard album charts peaking at number 29, which, until 2006 is on an island, was Gilmore's highest charting solo album in the US, eventually going gold. The album was released in the UK on May 25, 1978, and on June 17, 1978 in the US, on Harvest and Columbia respectively. In an interview with Circus in 1978, Gilmore said, This album, David Gilmore, was important to me in terms of self-respect. At first I didn't think my name was big enough to carry it. Being in a group for so long can be a bit claustrophobic. And I needed to step out from behind Pink Floyd's shadow. All music composed by David Gilmore except There's No Way Out of Here written by Ken Baker. All lyrics by Gilmore, except where noted. David Gilmore was re-released by Emmy Records in Europe as a digitally remastered CD on August 14, 2006. Legacy Recording slash Columbia Records released the remastered CD in the US and Canada on September 12, 2006. It features expanded versions of some of the tracks. Thanks for watching.